Ricky, exciting few weeks ahead for you. Um, but it all started, what was it about three weeks ago when Ibby uh, had his third pro fight? Ibi yeah, Ibi. it's been uh, very, very um, tough times, I think, for, for all. Um, for all fighters, to be honest with you, but especially the lads in the gym. But I mean, recently it's been uh, it's been good. We had Brett McGinty uh, at his pro debut um, on a McKennessy show, Channel Five show. You know, he yeah. uh, he won and he, he impressed. That was about um, about six weeks ago. Uh, then Ibby got um, a call right out of the blue from from Eddie Hearn, you know, to fight um, Phillips on a matchroom show and. Uh, and he, step up for a kid who's only had three, uh, well, two fights at the time. Yeah, well, it was a dubious. Um, I was like that, you know, should have taken it. It's probably a fight that I'd maybe get Ibby uh, and maybe after four or five. But the opportunity coming along, there's no opportunities coming along. And um, he took the fight, he impressed. And um, I'm sure he'll get some, um, I hope he'll get some. I, I presume uh, that was a performance you wanted, though, because he showed a little bit of spite there. Great combination, punch, very fast hands, but really good body punching, which you've told me you've been working on with him. Yeah, well, he's. Um, I think, I think Ibi would, would would say himself he didn't impress in his first two fights, you know. So he needed to make a little bit of a statement. He needed to uh, to show. But he's, you know, in the lockdown, all my lads have been in the gym improving. They hadn't had dates, but um, all of a sudden, you know, because they were in the gym, they were improving on the the, the stamina, the the technique, the the, the you know the, the, the strength, the the whole thing. They would have found themselves in a position where. When the call did come, they were in a position to grasp it with, with both hands, and they've, they've impressed. You know, I mean, the Brett McGinty did it. If he, if he um, won, looked impressive as we spoke. Then uh, we've got Brad Rea fights um, and on the the twentieth. You know, so he's uh, he's looking really, really sharp. He's never looked as good. And then uh, the week after that was to Gibraltar to, to, to for um, for Campbell. So we've gone from having nothing to having. Well, how do you feel about that? Because. He's probably a little bit sooner than you were first anticipating with Campbell because you wanted him to have a, a year in the seniors, didn't you? And he never got that opportunity. I think I filmed him in the in the quarterfinals, and uh, then it all felt it all shut down, didn't it? I think he was always going to uh, go pro eventually, but it probably happened a little bit sooner than than lately. But I mean, um, he was in the gym training with, with Matthew and, and doing little bits with with me, and I think. Um, you know, I always thought his style would be better suited to the pros, but it, it is, he's, he had a tricky start to his amateur career. He lost a few of his early ones, and to be honest with you, he said, I'd, 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 I'd make a better pro than an amateur. I went, well, as I said, you're not going pro yet, son, because, you know, you've, you've, there's a few more things. You've got, you know, got to tidy up the fundamentals a little bit. There's a few more things you've, you've got to learn. And... Um, you know, and probably, probably, I, I didn't think he was good enough to go pro when he first when he first kicked off. I'll be brutally honest with him. But in the last couple of years, since he started working with Matthew and doing like little bits with me, oh my God, he's 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 slipped a gear. He's he slipped four gears. I'm I'm absolutely, you know, whether it's his dedication, whether it, his technique, his strength, his power, his mindset. You know, taking the advice on board. Uh, I tell you what, it's not—it's not, it's not just—it's um, not just a novelty thing, you know. My son going going pro here, he's gonna—he's gonna have a great career, honestly. What What would your perfect start for him to be? Would you Would you like him to have a uh, a lot of fights early on, quickly, so he can, you know, take something from each fight into the next fight? No, I'd like him to uh, to fight regular, and obviously. Um, the, the level of opposition will, will, will when we when we feel we need he needs a step up you know I speak from myself Matthew and Eddie here and you know here, you know when we feel we need he needs a step up he'll get that you know he'll, he'll get all sorts of different styles different you know so to get used to we'll get we'll chuck a southpaw in here and there so he so he's ticking every box the opponent wise style wise you know he's he's, he's facing all uh, difficult tats each time he, he gets in in the gym but I mean. Uh, I'd like him to have regular fights, but I think, I'm, I, in my opinion, I think sometimes if you have, you know, you can have 13 fights unbeaten, but if you box, if you box 13 duffers, no. I don't think it does you. I, I, I gives it. I think it gives you the gives these lads a false reading, and it's been shown sometimes, you know, in boxing. So, uh, want him fighting regularly. When we, you know, when we need, when we think he needs a little bit of a test, he'll get it. And um, he's got the right people around him in 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 Eddie Hearn, myself and Matthew to make sure that the opponents are bob on each time for his progress yeah I think I met your lad when he was about 14 15 which is when I first met you you know when you come over to Denmark Germany is it not like looking in a mirror though 
it is looking like it. I mean, no, not not now it isn't. <laughs> but I mean, it, it, it certainly was back, back then. I think I put a thing on my uh, my Instagram of when I was uh, the other day of me um, winning me um, a boys club. I think it's boys club's quarter final or, or or something like that. And it's like a mirror image of just what watching Campbell. You know, he's 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 my son in every way. Do you know what I mean? He's uh, so he's excited. He's, he's exciting to watch. He's got a good personality. You know what I mean? He's, he's confident but humble with it, you know. And um, if you was a fan of me, you're gonna be a fan of Campbell. You know what I mean? And uh, he's got, he's got, you know, a lot of pressure on his, on his, on his shoulders. Say, you know what I mean? He seems to cope with that really well, though, doesn't he? He has, you know what I mean? And he ain't got a choice. He's got to cope with it well. To be honest, <laughs> but I mean, he's, he, you know, he's, he's handling it really well. People are saying, oh, he's getting an opportunity because of his, his dad and this and that. No, no, no. Sure, it's going to be harder for Campbell. Everyone want, everyone will want to beat Campbell out. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? That was the same in his you know, I don't think, I don't think, you know, he'll, get, he'll, get, you know, he'll, be, able, he'll be able to open a few doors for him. Of course it will, but ultimately, I think his job's tougher than anyone else's. The door you, might be open, but he's yeah. got to walk through, man. Yeah, and he, you know, and he, he deserves a pat on the back, you know, to go in the toughest game of all with what I achieved in the sport. That's what he's got to, you know, that's what he's got to, you know, you know look up to. And there's, uh, I think he deserves massive, massive respect, you know, for, you know, for, for, for doing that, you know, because... Yeah. You know, it's one in one respect. You know, there's the the pluses, but I think that it's going to be an hard job for him, isn't it? It's, you know, well, it's but, the same with them all. Yeah. But, you know, if I didn't think he could handle it, he's going to. You know, look well, I, I always say to people, it's a bit like Conor Ben. Now, Conor Ben, Conor Ben's getting a bit of credit now because of his last performance was really good. But when he first started out, he was raw, wasn't he? He had all the natural ingredients that you need, you know. Like yeah, and listen, stuff, let's not kid ourselves. You know, Matthew might have a few bumps along the way, you know what I mean? Where he, you know, one foot one day he'll look brilliant and then another day he might have a little bit. Well, that's not that's not just the, the case for Campbell. That was the case for Campbell. That was the case for me. That was the case for Joe Kawasaki. We've all had them ones when we come, when we come through, don't we? You know, you can't look fantastic every time. That's what learning is. And that's what Conor Ben has done, and uh, Eddie Hearn has kept him, kept kept faith with him, and kept getting him the right fights, the right opportunity. And now he's coming to the forefront. You know, he's he's he's, he's shining for them experiences. He can't have a good night every night. Even Floyd Mayweather didn't have a good night every night. You know what I mean? And mm. uh, there will be a bumps on the way as long as he takes it on board, improves from it. Um, we're going to have a good career. It's going to be a good ride. Right. Well, I'm looking forward to the next few weeks. Like I say, starting next weekend with Brad. Week after with Joe Lad. Good times. It is good times. We went from bad times, didn't we? Where we're nothing moving, nothing happening, but now uh, there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, guys, isn't there? Nice one. Hey, and you seem to be loving it here with all the young new talent you've got. Yeah, there's, um, you know, got, you know, I mean, back in the day, wasn't there? There was, I mean, Zanet Zakianov, who was the uh, the world bantamweight champion, and then Sergey Ravchenko was the European champion, and Kirill Relic, who fought, but they he was a world champion, he fought Ricky Burns for the world mm. title, but I mean, now I've been. Uh, there's not really any champions in, but the champions in the making, definitely for sure, I think. Yeah, well, like I say, all quality amateur kids that are hopefully going to make a name for themselves in the pro ranks yeah, over so, the next so. few years. Ricky, it's always a pleasure, mate. Thank you. Cheers, Lee. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.